What was that? I just have to take 200 from my token because I know Asunado like took 200 from me mm. to buy it. Oh yeah, I, I greatly appreciate that, Misha. <laughs> um, <laughs> honestly, if you want the 200 back right now, I don't need any. Yeah, more, actually, yeah, because you were I able to have for a 25% discount. off, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you can keep it. Okay, well, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're yeah, lucky that the Kakaian likes the cut of your gym. So, yeah. we'll take that. <laughs> Alright. So, um... Should we go back to Jack to see if, uh, the ship is back in repair? Um, yeah, yeah, you guys want to head back? Yep. Sure. Okay. Alright, thank All right. you, Mr. Kekleon. Alright, they Inside. both give you waves, like, good luck on your trials! Bye. And, uh, to fast forward, in a sense, um... Uh, you guys, uh, a little bit of theater of the mind right now. You guys, uh, return to the ship and see it that it's been, uh, repaired, uh, pretty well. Like, the, the parts that got, like, broken into, um, were, um, have been, have been mended properly and, uh, have been, like, replaced with new wooden parts. And, uh, jo Jack's like, oh, you guys finished your trial already? Oh, we did, in fact. Uh, it went really, really well, actually. Um, much better, honestly, than some of the others. No one died. Um, <laughs> that was the. That was so difficult. I mean, it was a fun game, you know. Uh, I heard about this from all the mankind growing up, so it was cool to actually try. Yeah, it. the almighty <laughs> game of tower control. <laughs> yeah. Jack, uh, Jack can but you you remember their like the other game modes? Like, there's something about. Yeah, I just don't remember like, the exact details. Yeah, it's like there's one that's like um uh something to do with like this large like cannon that's shaped like a shiny magikarp it has like mm -hmm. different names like there's there's one that's like it's called rainmaker but it's so lame yeah depending on what others. island someone's from they might call it something different i think yeah. is what i heard <laughs> yeah it's like there's operation what was it operation goldfish and uh, okay in the real world uh stepping out of character in the real world the game mode rainmaker is called operation goldfish in german so which is so much better than rainmaker. just infinitely better yeah but um and then there there's this one that that you remember that like most people don't like it's where you have to get like a bunch of clams and throw into this mm -hmm. one location throw all the clam pearls like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my god uh so... but yeah so um it's still like the the trial was done at night so it's still night um so you guys could just Spend the night at your. Oh yeah, uh, we did purchase hotel. that room for another night, so we might as well sleep on it. It's more comfy oh, than did. the ship. Oh, you did? Okay, good. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, no. Misha and I purchased that. That's why <laughs> I specified. That's why I specified. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay, so you guys. Uh... Okay, so, um, you guys spend the night, and, uh, I mean, under normal circumstances, um, any injuries and health points lost would be restored for the most part, and, but, you guys wake up, and, um, let's see, and, uh, first thing in the morning, you guys set sail, and... <laughs> So, the nearest uh, island that you have yet to explore is this island up to the north uh, east. I hope that's right. <laughs> up to the northeast. Um, and Jack informs you that it is called Eminence Island. And it is this it's place. It's called. Wait, what is it called? Eminence Island. Ooh. Could you could you spell that? It's not coming in very well. Eminent Island. It's in uh, the roll twenty chat. <laughs> so... I think Bob goes kind of loud. Maybe. Oh, Eminence. Yes. Okay. This is like a Finding Nemo moment, trying to pronounce an Eminence. And nem 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 nem. I'll just turn down Bongo a little bit. Uh, all right. There we go. <laughs> and um, now. Audience. Okay, I think that's fine. Alright, let's continue. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Honestly, that's like weirdly kind of perturbing. Um, what? The name Eminence Island. Uh, like it's not necessarily a scary word, but like I don't. It doesn't. Like, everyone, give me a. Let's see. A vibe check. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kind of. <laughs> with what I'm asking you guys to do, real quick. You all give well, me. Well, it doesn't seem like that far of a journey, seeing as it's only five meters away. Yeah, which means yeah. It's, uh, that would be roughly a four-day journey. There we go. But uh, you guys, uh, give me a general education check. Cool. Oh, oh no. Just to see if you're familiar with the island. Sure. Oop. Okay, also, Chef, you have no idea, but Misha, you can't help but feel in the back of your mind that, like, something about the, something about this, you feel like you might have heard when you were when you were younger. Um, but like, it, it feels familiar, that's for sure. But at the same time, when you think about when you were younger, you, uh, you got, you got, you got uh, bad, bad memories, so you you can't really yeah. like get a solid thought out, but. Jack is able to help fill you guys in. Is like, Eminence Island. It's uh, it's a bit closed off from from the rest of the archipelago. It's primarily inhabited by dragon type Pokemon. Ooh. And uh, sorry, sorry. Ah, sorry, I'm happy. That was that was Jacob reacting. <laughs> that was me reacting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and it, they're like, yes, yeah, um. Uh, and they tend to uh, leave themselves very uh, sectioned off and to themselves. Very se they pride themselves on being self-sufficient. So, and also at the same time, not too keen on outsiders. However, they have a high respect for tradition. And so, since the since um, this whole uh, region has been doing these trials for many for a few centuries they've held that um, uh, respect to the uh, golden trials as well so they will give so they should uh, give you kids a fair uh, trial but um don't expect too warm of a welcome especially because from what I've heard it's actually not that much of a population uh, to begin with um. And so you guys start making your way uh, there, and um. And I'll be using it for that kind of trouble. Chef, would you like to um, uh, cook something on the way there, in particular? Sure. I mean, you have the food for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, I have the food for it. I will make. Let's see, what do I got? You know what, let's make some- let's- let's make something new. Let's go for a, uh... Ooh. Okay, let's try... I wanna try and make something with a banana. Alright, let's see, um... So, looking through I know here, that bananas can. are kinda sweet, so you probably wouldn't wanna put spicy stuff with a banana. No. But, um... No. This, you is, could, this is Jacob's uh, cooking uh, skills uh, showing through, which is like next to nothing. So, uh, let's uh, see. so the bananas, um, well, do like, I mean, they are part of the. Re uh, well, they can. You wouldn't happen to have peanut butter, would you? <laughs> no, I do not have no, peanut butter. They unfortunately, uh, are, they they uh. The, the easiest thing you can make with them is a PB&J uh, peanut butter sandwich, but you do not have peanut butter. Okay. How about something with these soybeans, then? Uh, the green grass soybeans? Quite a few Yes. Things. So, uh, you can make so some curry. Like... You can make some sandwiches or curry with them. Alright, how about... Could I do, like, a big apple curry and soybeans with some... with some, uh, berries? Um... I don't know about adding the apple. The apple, no? Okay, so just, um, we're just going to expend three Chesto Berries. Mm -hmm. A curry mix? We're going to expend another curry mix. And then we're going to put in a soybean. Yeah. Green grass soybeans. 
All right. In that case, give me that survival check. Oh boy, time for the 5d6 plus 2. Okay. Ooh. That's a that's a uh All right, a, fair, that's... a fair roll. <laughs> All right, so um, all three of you, upon your next battle, get a, um, uh, your defense is increased by one combat stage. <gasps> okay, I'm you're marking that down for soybeans. <laughs> you're welcome. That is an important one. So that's just like, so that's like a bonus. Uh, no, defense. on the, on the combat stage section. Gotcha. Okay, just put Increases defense. Oh, that is important. Yep. You're welcome. <laughs> I will slowly but surely find every single one of these things. Every single <laughs> recipe? Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I. Oh my god. I there are, there's I have so many I have so many of these. I have so many well, of I'm, these. Mainly I, I'm just looking for every single recipe that increases a specific stat by a certain amount. Oh okay, then that's uh that's just curry, which is still quite a bit. Yep. So you guys uh continue and it's relatively uneventful other than um Chef making some pretty nice um uh uh curry. However, um, as you guys are sailing on, uh, Jack is like, uh, starts like thinking out loud. He's like, you know, ever since we encountered that, that, that giant Kingler, it's starting to remind me of a story I heard, something called the Claw Beast. It's of this Pokemon that's said to come from deep underground, that some strange power made it a giant. I've actually encountered quite a few of those in my heyday, but never that one specifically. And, well, those past fights were a bit more harrowing and dangerous than this one, so I'm just, I'm just a little relieved that you three are still here. Otherwise, I'm not gonna have a crew if I'm short even one, if I'm short even one mon. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's just continue on. And um, Misha, since you're a lookout, give me that first. Uh, give me a perception check. Gotcha. Um. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. So not only do you notice a um, a uh, you, not only do you eventually notice some land, you notice something else right next to it. You notice a rather large ship. My god, that ship is massive. Right? It's the uh, length of two days journey. <laughs> Note icons are not uh for scale. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> All right, so you guys um are getting closer and you notice this massive ship that is docked on the shoreline. And, ah. uh, and, uh, Jack's like, oh, great, it's one of the, it's one of the nobles. Did you guys encounter some, did you guys happen to encounter some rich kids over at, uh, over at Turquoise City? I wish yeah. we did it. Oh, great. Which one? Uh, oh, there I... was a gold dango. Yeah. Oh, ah. God. Oh, great. <sighs> Is it just one? Was it just one Goldango? Uh, well, no, there were th just one Goldango. We rem just one Goldango, we remember, but there were other people traveling with it. I can't remember the other Pokemon. I think one of them was a Persian, I think, and another one was like a Stabilite. Oh, great, that's... Uh, great. That's probably, uh, Team Prosperous, from what I've heard. Uh, I was looking over the other day at the other trial, uh, teams that had been registered, and that's one of them. I don't understand why they even have 
have them participate in the first place. You can probably just <laughs> buy his way to getting all, all eight of the Z crystals anyway. Yeah. What, whatever. Yeah. That's why I prefer living out. Uh, that's why I prefer living out in the in Cobalt on the Cobalt Coast. Mm. Nice and quiet, and didn't have any bureaucrat, rich snobs breathing down my neck. Whatever. Mm. We're talking. So, uh, best of luck, you three. Thanks. And you guys arrive at Eminence Island. And unfortunately, you guys do not get first dibs on uh, parking. <laughs> Dang. Me when the SSN just shows up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, you guys ready to set off? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so, you all walk in uh, onto the shoreline, and it's fairly nice. And as soon as you walk, as soon as you, like, start walking through, you feel this sense of tranquility and, like, actual, like, calming. Something about this island is very, like, soothing. Whether it's just that, like, you can't see any signs of urbanization or industrialization or anything like that. It's very natural and very peaceful. And, however, that tranquility is soon uh, stopped when you hear uh, voices coming from uh, deeper in the woods. And as you approach closer, you see it's everyone's favorite spoiled brat and his lackeys. Put your tokens down here. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. At least you get the pretty mystery dungeon music in the background. This is actually sound of new music. Never mind, I'm dumb. This is from like the altar of the sun. Or... Um, this is. Or from the lake. This is um a uh this is called the uh, this is from the place called Mahalo Trail or Trail. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I remember. Uh, that. Is that the first one or the first island or the second? Uh, I think it's a location on the first island. Yeah. No, it's Mahalo. Mahalo Trail. Hold up. No. I uh, haven't played Sun and Moon stuck? in a hot minute, okay? No, it is on Melee Melee. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it oh. is, um... Oh, yeah, it... <laughs> I believe that's where you run into Coco. Yeah, it leads to where you encounter yeah, Coco. Yeah, yeah, so, yep. yeah. yeah. Mm. Spoiler alert, the Island Guardians are not in the Island base campaign. Sorry to push your bubble. I already so have sad. other plans. Oh. I have uh, other plans oh. that will not rely on the Alolan Guardians, but... Yeah. Okay. So as you guys uh, walk over, you see uh, the golden go. He's just uh, chilling on his uh, on his uh, levitating golden board, and is just like tossing coins up in the air and just catching them, and just like <laughs> bored out of his mind. And the uh, Furfru and Persian are sort of just they're like just laying down. However, when they notice you, they both just immediately like perk up and then stand up and uh, like face you. And, however, the Goldengo has not acknowledged your, uh, your presence in the slightest. Hmm. Can we choose to not acknowledge the Goldengo either? If you want. Please. <laughs> Alright, uh, go. Chef, actually, however, as you guys, as you, uh, step forward, um, the, uh, the Persian's like, Hey! What do you think you're doing around here? Uh, we're... The trial. We're heading yeah. over to the, the town. Yeah. There, there... You got it. <laughs> There's no town here in Missiles. The trial is all the way in those caves le in deeper in the forest. You know... Suddenly regretting not taking the dark vision thing. <laughs> Uh, well, oh, oops. It's okay. I there. can probably glow or something. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, yep. the fur fur is like. Flash? I mean, I'm an electric eel. I can do something. Do you have the? Okay. Do you have the, if you have the glow capability? Then yeah. I mean, I don't know if I do. I'll check later. Um. But I mean, 
we go. I'm I'm no stranger to caves. In fact, yes, that's do. where we ran into Suicune when we first met and got our approval from the legendary beast. And yeah, mm -hmm. Asnado, you have the glow capability, so you should be fine. Woo! Okay, cool. All right, but I'm uh, just gonna you know brag to them that we got personally approved by Suicune. We're not brag, but kind of like you know drop that in there. Uh, and to that actually, the gold dango perks up is like you three. <laughs> What? So you guys were the ones that were allegedly picked by the legendary beast. Oh my. <laughs> and I'm like, at this point, I just flashed a little insignia oh, thingy that we got wow. from Suicune. Oh, no. wow, that's such a nice tattoo you got there. Jeez. <laughs> Wasn't there another group that also got recognized by... Oh, yeah. The... Yeah. yeah. You know that there are, there are teams that have been picked by Entei and Suiku, uh, and Raiko, respectively. However, the only one that you've met so far has been the Kansai crew that has been picked by Entei. You mm -hmm. do not... You have not encountered the team that was picked by uh, by picked by Raiko. Yet. If Raiko picked this squad, my respect levels for Raiko are going to go down the drain. Well, I mean... It's great, Nick. Uh, uh, nah. process of elimination, I'm going to assume they were picked. I mean, I they could have been picked, they could have been just, like, decided to go. They're, they could be, like, uh, volunteers from, like, the District 1 in the Hunger Games. Like, they're mm. not, like, chosen. They just go because they want to. Mm. I mean, you, by just, like, inspecting their bodies, you can't really see any sort of marking or Inspect. anything noticeable. Uh, oh my god, are you actually, do you actually approach? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, no. Okay, like, um, oh my gosh. Man. Actually, I might just actually know. It'd be funnier if I just kind of hover behind and kind of like just look around and say, oh, nope, don't see anything. <sighs> <sighs> so, yeah, I am going to do that, in fact. Oh, uh, the gold angle is like, ugh, get you commoner filth away from me. Ugh. And I uh. just kind of spark a little as he says that. <laughs> You're what <one> talk. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? Getting uh, all, getting all riled up now, huh? You should know. What do you even know? What do you even nobility of? I am the heir to one of the richest families in all of the archipelago. My family oh, can yeah. probably you're, buy you're, you're out just, your. Well, you're just an heir, so you don't matter. So, and then I look <laughs> over to Sami. Excuse me, my entire my family could buy out your entire island. I mean, it couldn't buy approval from Raikou, so doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> Oh my god, he's actively getting infuriated. However, the Furfru just- the uh, Furfru walks up is like, Now, now, sire, we shouldn't- we shouldn't get all emotional on these lesser beings, like- uh, Hey, sire, imagine having no friends, too. <laughs> and like- Just thinking in my back of my head, like, and me, she's like, Look, your family's so well known, how come we've never- because mm -hmm. you're nothing more than ignorant, ignorant common folk. You probably don't sure. even know the most basic things. You probably never even set foot on, Dora on Dorado. Hmm. I mean, I have no feet, so yeah. <laughs> mm. Well, if if I set foot in there and I turn out like you, I think I like where I'm at right now. Yep. Whatever. Uh, actually, uh, let's see. Um. Misha, you as you say that you actually remember uh, something. There is someone actually missing from this group. All oh, right, what happened to this big one? I was with you guys on the last time. Oh, that guy. Oh, she's doing our trial. She's what? doing it for you. Well, yeah. What do you think I'd have some disgusting gremlin like that with me? Gremlin. And like Misha's you, like trying to hold back, like not to. You uh, don't do but... your own truck. The truck. Ah. Uh, uh, Chef.exe has stopped working. Um. Well, I mean, I was kind of, I kind of had to do that last one because it's a team event. I couldn't just send that sable light to do it for me. Although that would have been hilarious, seeing them getting dogpiled by those, uh, by the other team. But. Well. Well, I'm not speaking right now, but I am. My brain is running about like, okay, what if we just get this sable out of like, I don't know. The sable I probably doesn't really like them, so like, 
what if we just like sabotage their whole thing? It, I'm not saying, I'm just thinking this through now mm -hmm. that I know the Sableye's just doing it for them. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Chef is thinking, what if I just bite him? What if I just bite him right now? <laughs> what if I just... Chef is the one I'm... thinking of violence for I... once. <laughs> is it is it Chef who's who's thinking those, or is that Black Fog putting those thoughts in his head? Or uh -oh. is Jacob uh -oh. who really just wants to, to, to embody one of his other characters? Yeah, you need to stop biting ghost types, please. I um, mean, it's not bad, dude. I mean, it probably, it probably would be fun this time. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, alright. So, uh, what was it? Oh, I was gonna say it. I was like, <laughs> <sighs> whatever. I'm not, I'm not gonna bother wasting my time bickering with some pathetic commoners like you. If you wanna go knock yourself out on that trial, sure, but if you see, see that pathetic gremlin over there, tell him to hurry it up. I have things to do. Oh, really? Like I what? Huh. <sighs> Not like, like you would go ever, sit uh... around at the next island and oh, do absolutely no. nothing. <laughs> it's not like any of you would understand. I have more important things to do. I have oh, like what you're doing just... right now. Chef is just going to swallow his anger by eating as my mom just, He's brought just munching on something. Yeah, also, my mom just brought dinner in, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, nice. oh my god. All right. Uh, what was I gonna say? So um, I'm just gonna mute for a little bit. <laughs> okay. So what was I? What was I gonna do? Like, but yeah. So um, do you guys want to continue arguing with this rich snob or? Mm, yeah, um, it's getting kind of pointless at this point. We might as well just go up ahead. I mean, yeah, I could keep arguing and going on and on about it, but like, he's not worth your time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Actually. There is something that he then mentions, like, wait a minute, you. Uh, actually, what? Oh crap! I can't say this because it's for Jacob. <laughs> Jacob, uh, mind uh, I'm still here. Quick. Okay, good. I'm still so, here. uh, the gold, the gold angle actually, like, uh, he like sort of snaps his fingers and then points at you. He's like, you. Wait a minute, Marini. And then I, and then I snap my gloves back at him. What? <laughs> He's like, you. And he actually, like, levitates towards you. He's like. What's your name? You may call me Chef. Oh god, that's pathetic. No, like your actual name. Unless your parents really named you that. <laughs> oh my god. I go by Chef. Okay, well... <sighs> I'll just say this because, well... Who knows, you're probably related in some way, but... You're... But... I do know of a couple that is a Dragalgy and a Toxapex that are part of the Vanguard stationed in Cobalt Island. Mm -hmm. You want to know who owns that Vanguard, who commands that Vanguard, who at a moment's whim can send them to another part of this region? My family. So if you value your family's position, then you and your well, excuse for friends might want to watch who you're talking to. All right, let me put it this way. Um, if you value existing right now, you don't threaten my family. <laughs> oh, you're threatening me? You're, oh, really? Wow, interesting. <laughs> I've never had this happen before. Well, I've never had someone here's, actually here's have what the I'm guts saying. to say it. My my family isn't in danger so long as you can't tell anyone. So um. Yeah, and I'm just like. Let me finish. Let me finish my food. I'm just starting to spark up a little bit. I'm like, bullet macaroni boy. <laughs> um. Okay. Like this is like being like. A chef just ch takes another bite of his food. And uh. Like, this uh is being the gold angle's like, I wouldn't try that to fire you, as he's just, like, clutching his Z-ring, and you can see that there's a Z-crystal there, but it's not actually one that you've seen, actually. You can't get a good look at it, but you can tell it's not one of the three that you've obtained. Mm-hmm. I'd... Let... Hmm, you know, I understand that there's probably some gunk in between your ears, so... 
I'll let what you said slide this one time, but you better make sure to wash that mouth of yours if you know what's good for you and the rest of you wretched filth. Duly noted. Huh. Nisha's being very passive aggressive, like she is suppressing her anger, but the look she is giving this gold dango could literally kill any man. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, we are going to go and start our trial, and maybe we'll see your teammate. <laughs> and maybe we'll actually earn this one Z crystal that just having someone else do it for us. Oh, please, these trials are beneath me. Then why are you doing them in the first place if they're so beneath you? Call it a formality. I have to. My family has to take part in these stupid traditions. <laughs> Not like any of it matters. Oh, the almighty ho oh, and the legendary beast. Oh, please, we all know it's a sham. It's all fake, but nah, it's tradition. Tch, whatever. So it I'm, sounds like to me what you're doing, what your I'm, parents told you to do. I'm this close to biting him. <sighs> For now. What is it? You do everything your parents tell you to so you don't get in trouble? <laughs> and he's like, no. Like, it, like <laughs> you, you've annoyed him, but now you're genuinely starting to push his buttons here. Like, no. I do whatever I want. Uh, oh, really? Want, you want to do whatever you want, then you wouldn't throw these trials. Uh, Fair point. Yeah, you don't want to do these trials, so why are you doing them? Is it because if you, you're if you do whatever you want? I'm not. Uh, hello? What do you think I'm? What do you think I'm out here? I'm here mining my. Uh, I'm here doing whatever I want, which is not going into that cave. <laughs> I'm not stupid. All right. So that's that why I got someone to do these things for me, and then I get the credit and attention from it at the end. Mm -hmm. Oh, what am I doing? Talk, I'm talking to three brick walls here. Whatever. Get I out mean, of my congrats. Sight. You do the same thing like young Pokemon do every year. Like, what's the point? It's actually every ten years. Okay, cool. Same thing. Um, like everyone does this. Why specifically when you could just chill in your luxury? Uh, go through all the effort of even just traveling. <sighs> just shut Excuse up. Me. Okay, Chef is just gonna continue reading. Uh, well, we'll be on our way actually earning these vehicles, unlike you. Tuh. Whatever. Tuh. <sighs> oh, and also, uh, if you. Oh, and also, enjoy running into the, mo uh, the beast that lives in that cave. I hope you die well. I mean, we fought Suicune, we'll be fine. Yeah. Oh yes, you fought Suicune. <laughs> yeah, right. If any of those things are even real, they would turn you into... into ash. Or whatever it is that they say is like, oh, is it a fire type, water type, whatever. Doesn't matter. It's all lies anyways. <laughs> Asanato, do you, uh, are you, are you gonna stay there, or...? Oh, oops. <laughs> I'm moving now. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so, um... The moment we get out of earshot, Chef immediately collapses and goes, Oh no, oh no, oh no! Uh, okay, all right. So, um, all right, you guys continue walking <gasps> through these woods, and, uh, so yeah, you... <laughs> did Chef have a panic attack? He's like, why did I say that? Oh no! This isn't a chef being impulsive moment. Uh, well, uh, you take some time to reflect on all of that. <laughs> and then uh, eventually you find yourselves at the entrance to the caves. Put your tokens right here. Uh... Yeah. Oh, I'm a little, I'm in the water now. Eh. Take a little swim. Uh, please. There. Oop. Wrong spot, but I shall move it down here. That was so stupid. 
to do. <laughs> uh oh. Why did I do that? I mean, up. it's okay. It's, a, it's a, a pretty boy. standard. It's a, it's a pretty standard nepo baby situation. Um, <laughs> the parents often don't listen to those kids anyway. Fair. If the parent cared, why are they just like? Letting the kid just run around in like you, no you contact need, or anything. You need to give an actual reason as to why my father and mother would need to be moved because um they've been there for a long time. Yeah, and done a good job. So yeah, yeah. So you the so when you arrive to this entrance, you de you that ethereal feeling that you were getting when you first arrived, definitely um, uh, returns. However, you feel it in a much stronger sense now. And um, uh, you can tell that there is some, like, there is some, something mystical about this place. Oh my god, I, I'm gonna type this in the chat, but I just realized something. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> This is in the is this in the Discord or the Roll Twenty? Discord. <laughs> oh, okay. So the audience, the 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 audience isn't gonna be able to see this. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna delete that. <laughs> uh. But yeah. <sighs> All right. So, would you guys like to do any last-minute uh, preparations? Um, I would probably like to uh, eat a lumberry. All right. Set up that um, uh, food buff. All right. Perfect. What do we, exactly do I do for that? Um, just like. Just like just remove the lumberry from your inventory and just like either make a note of it or just. Um, uh, like, yeah, just make a note of it somewhere that you have that, uh, food buff. Gotcha. Yeah. Alright. When I use recover, does that regain... <clears throat> What's up? <clears throat> Would recover be based on my tot my, uh... What is it called? My max hit points or my current max hit points? Current max hit points. Okay, good to, to, to note. Wait, are your current max, max hit points below your max ones right now? No, no, they're not. They're not. Okay, it's just in case they do. Injuries start occurring. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So it might be better to recover sooner rather than later. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's also why um, stalling isn't as viable in this as it is in the official game. Oh, yeah. I also saw um, on my tutor list of moves, I do learn Super Fang, and that's a scene move, but, like, how limited would that, like, how much would you have to limit that against bosses? Well. Well, just look at what it says. It, uh... I mean, it's a scene move, but, like, that's still ridiculously strong. It removes, uh, so, like, exa like I, I assume you mean, like, in regards to, um, bosses, bosses that have, that like, have multiple, multiple hit bar, yep. uh, multiple HP bars, right? Yep. It would only do, like, it would only cut their hit points in half from, like, one hit point bar, basically. Gotcha. Gotcha. Makes sense. Alright, so, would you guys like to do anything else, or are you ready to head in? Head on in. Um, Let's head in. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, I'm like just zooming in because I'm a cave fanatic. Um, <laughs> I shall glow to let us see. And I will try and stay close for Ostinato, but can't because I'm too slow. <laughs> I'm trying to stay in the. I'll there is a there is a movement poke edge you can do at some point, mm -hmm. but not right now. Oh boy, I'll get four movement. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's better than two. three. It's two. Plus two, so it'd actually be five, which is still way better than three. Oh, yeah, it's plus absolutely. two. You, in two turns, you can Whoa. move as much as you would uh, move more than you can move in three before. So, Shoot, that actually sounds useful. I might get that later. Yep. 